wow we're connected now we got free wi-fi let's go in and take a look at watching hacker laws hacking tutorials let's go ahead and double click on mozilla firefox let's go to youtube.com and then throw in that and we are now in youtube.com so let's go ahead and search for hackle Loy's video let's enter Loy leong young hit enter on that oh my goodness he's such an awesome hacker he has so many videos i gotta subscribe to it there's so many great awesome videos and i want to make sure that my notifications are all turned on and now that you taught you managed to gain access to a free Wi-Fi so they can torrent videos, be able to watch Hacker Law's videos on YouTube, and so on and so forth, whatever the case is. Here's what a hacker would do to your computer if you so accidentally join those free Wi-Fi network where the hacker is residing inside those network. One, it will get notified that your device is in so that they can target against your device right now. Two, you'll begin scanning your computer looking out for vulnerabilities and if there are no vulnerabilities because your computer is up to date or your mobile device is up to date what they will do next is to force an attack into your device ultimately gaining access into your entire computer system three once they're in they can do whatever they want to your device so let's take a look at what will happen when your computer joins a free wi-fi network the first thing we'll do is go ahead and scan the target device so we enter nmap all right followed by target device of 192.168.0.186 and the result of this is because in our fake wi-fi configuration you can easily get notified whenever a device join in the next thing you can do is enter dash s followed by capital v as well as dash capital p and n and go ahead and run this against the target device so we're scanning the device with the host discovery disabled so that we'll be able to get a more comprehensive scan against the device in response that the device is up and running and as a result of that, we'll be able to uncover all those services, whether it is file sharing, all right, or whether it is remote desktop protocol, we'll be able to identify it quickly. So right here in front of us, you can identify them in two ways. The main way that you can identify it is because of the result of commonly used port numbers in those associated services. Likewise, in this case, we have 3389. So 3389 is in response to remote desktop protocol. So we can launch a brute force attack to be able to remotely take control of the entire computer system all right so the first thing we can do is to use crowbar as our tool to run the attack against the device so what we can do now is go ahead and cd into crowbar and once we're in here i can do a dot slash crowbar dot py so this is a python file and i can enter dash b to specify the protocol that we're using so in this case rdp followed by dash s which is the target ip address 192.168.0.186 and the next thing that i'll be able to do is to specify say the username as well as the password file in order for us to run the attack against the device so what i can do now is enter the following dash u all right for loy liang yang and in most computer cases there'll be administrators admin as those commonly used usernames that we can target after the next thing you want to do is enter dash capital c all right followed by the file where you're storing all these commonly used passwords so i enter usr share word list all right followed by 1000 common passwords.txt so what i've done here is that i have went ahead and saved all right, 1,000 most commonly used passwords across the internet into a file that we can launch attacks against the device, whether they're running file sharing services or whether they're running remote desktop protocol. So let's go ahead and hit enter in three, two, one, enter. Oh shit, we're in. We found the password. We found a password right here, as you can see. Loy Liang Yang password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so again, using all these commonly used passwords allow us very quickly to be able to gain complete access into the computer system. So what can we do next? What we can do next now is to go ahead and connect to the computer and take full control of the entire device. Let's go ahead and enter X free rdp all right slash u followed by the username all right it can be in this case loy liang yang or in other cases it can be admin administrator and all those commonly used usernames that we're going after followed by slash p all right followed by the password that we have actually managed to hijack and hacked over here followed by slash v all right so this is the target device 192.168.0.186 hit enter on that we're in we're right now inside the session Let's go ahead and click onto Firefox. And you can see here, the user was watching Hackle Loy's video. All right, and a hacker who is aspiring to be a hacker just got hacked by a hacker. So every time you encounter free Wi-Fi, think twice before you connect in.